it's even even in our day it's 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 a rite of passage you know in tribal cultures you'd get it when you'd reach maturity that's when you start getting tattoos that's why people think that tattoos are just for the young because that's one of the first milestones that you actually get them which means you, you can get them when yeah you're you know, you get them when you're young, you get them when you have kids, you, you get them when your parents die, memorial stuff, you, you can get them all the way through your life. But that, that first one, people just always seem to focus on. And in tribal cultures, you know, when you reach maturity, you know, 13, 14, or yeah, 16, or whatever, um, you start getting, getting the tattoos. It's the same in our own culture, you know, only when you're 18. And you go out with your friends, and you go and get drunk, and you go out into the red light district and go and go and get something stupid done. And but you know, you may end up going and regretting it. But yeah, no, that was a rite of passage. That's something cool that you have. Yeah, it's to show your independence and that you aren't a child anymore. And <laughs> my name's Colin Dale. I was born in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, in Canada. I've been tattooing for 18, 19 years now. Uh, specializing in yeah prehistoric techniques and from yeah different cultures mostly mostly the Nordic and Native American. I took uh, a university art degree in uh, Canada, and then I uh, ended up traveling and yeah just sort of got stranded in Denmark. What I was interested in was was the traditional work. My 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 uh, introduction to tattooing has always been through the the cultural art, um, studying cultural art and and uh, Native American art especially, um, seeing a lot of the tattoo designs you, you see in in a lot of the a lot of the historical references, also the Inuits as well, um, their skin stitching patterns and stuff, and also a lot of those patterns being used in in their artwork as well. I started tattooing very late um, because I was always concerned. I, I, I didn't want to be a scratcher. I just didn't want to go and like jump out and do it. I, I, I didn't have that confidence or yeah, lack of respect for for the art, if you if you will. Yeah. The biggest challenge was learning to tattoo. It took me forever. I, yeah. Like I said, it wasn't really a, I wasn't really, I didn't really have a traditional apprenticeship. It was just sort of learning by doing. Um, was, it wasn't until I started going to uh, conventions and meeting other tattooists um, and getting help from, from them, uh, going and like having them explain things to me that started, started falling into place, at least with the machine work. Uh, the handwork, there wasn't really anyone to learn from, so that was all yeah, sort of self-taught. Um, and then, yeah, just just using it. I, I, was, I was lucky. I was um, brought up in the age of the kanji. So all of my kanjis, every Chinese sign I did was by hand. And the practice, it just eventually yeah got to the point where i am now and can do in a put in a really really clean line by actually probably a cleaner line by hand than i can by machine um so i think i think line, lines lines were probably the biggest challenge and then uh, also developing my own style because um a lot of these uh nordic designs that i use uh when i when i started um they were the very traditional designs, the, the designs from from the pieces of art, from the jewelry, from the ruined stones and stuff like that. And taking these and trying to make them into tattoos was sometimes very difficult because they weren't meant to be tattoos. Um, and yeah, it took me many years till I got to the point that I could actually take these designs and change them and felt comfortable changing them. Um, I always had that blockage that yeah, it should be it should be traditional, it should be the original thing. But yeah, if if you can make them better, a better tattoo, uh, maybe not a better design, but but a better tattoo, then 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 you should do it.
you know, it's, it's something uh, permanent, you know, in, in a very impermanent world. You even, even look at tattooing styles, like, like uh, you know, years ago, pe people were getting like tattoos of, of their trade, you know, if they were a sailor, they were getting sailor tattoos. If they were a Freemason, they'd get Freemason tattoos. Nowadays, you don't, you don't find any of these trade type of tattoos anymore, because er ev everything is, is, you know, in the old days, you'd get to get your wife's name or something, and, and but everything is, is so fast now and so superficial. Um, the name you get, it's you're going to get divorced. You're going to break up with that person. It, 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 your, your, your job, your job isn't safe either. You're going to get fired. You're going to be changing your jobs all your life. And there, there's nothing permanent anymore. So I think, I think tattooing is the one way that people can go and like, yeah, take hold of their lives, do something that, that can't be changed, that can't be taken away from them, something that is permanent. And in that way, they they also going towards the, the older designs because there's history in them and there's something like longer term there than, than you know, maybe just the, the newest, newest trend in, in, in tattooing. You find in traditional tattooing, all, all the tattooists are really trying to push things forward, push things forward, try to outdo each other, and, and uh, the art of tattooing has just really exploded uh, the last last decade or so. But to my my interest is more the past and finding out where things all started. Um, that's yeah, more more roots of what what we do.